Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. There's no doubt that the Land Rover brand builds a variety of luxury SUVs in the purest of European executions. So it only seems fitting to have a purely European style motor clattering away under the bonnets. And now we can get two versions of that full immersion on this side of the pond as well. With ultra-luxury SUVs now coming from the likes of Bentley, Maserati, and even sister brand Jaguar, Land Rover's Range Rover and Range Rover Sport have certainly got their work cut out for them if this pioneering brand expects to remain a major player in the segment. And while complete redesigns of both models are a few years down the road, as they already ride on new all-aluminum chassis that debuted in 13 for the Range Rover and in 14 for the Range Rover Sport, bringing this TD6 diesel option to the U.S. is a good proactive step up, even if it's about three decades after everyone else got it. A turbo diesel is much about torque, of course, and there's plenty of it when you nail the accelerator pedal. And that healthy punch is really your only indication there's a diesel under the hood, as it's easily one of the quietest, smoothest diesels we've ever driven. That includes the automatic start-stop system, which also works almost imperceptibly. Even at idle with the hood up, appreciating the view of this 3-liter V6 turbo diesel, there's very little indication it's not gas-fed. Horsepower is 254, with torque coming in at 443 pound-feet. Pretty stout for a diesel that traces its roots back to the late 90s Ford Peugeot Citroën joint venture. Brought totally up to date for us, including urea injection, the other rationale for entry here now is near-term fuel use mandates. Government fuel economy ratings are 22 city, 29 highway, and 25 combined. We achieved 26.1 miles per gallon of diesel in the Range Rover and 26.3 in the three-row Sport, the best test MPG we've ever seen from the brand. That makes for an energy impact score of 15.3 barrels of oil burned yearly with 6.8 tons of CO2 emitted. More importantly for road tripping, range is close to a bladder busting 600 miles. Towing capacity remains at a hefty 7,700 pounds, the same as the V8. Also the same as the V8, the TD6 gets a wonderful 8-speed automatic transmission. Unfortunately, it's attached to finicky E-shifters. Rotary style in the Range Rover, a handle in the Sport. The rest of the experience in both versions is straightforward Range Rover, checking off all of the luxury, utility, and off-road boxes and then some. Five passenger interiors are very well appointed and all seats immensely comfortable. Of course, you can't add a third row in the Sport if you need seating for two more. Cargo capacity in the Range Rover is 32.1 cubic feet, expanding to 71.7 with the seats folded. In the Sport, numbers go from 27.7 cubic feet to 62.2. The touchscreen interface for navigation and the like has been improved, but it remains more complicated than rivals. One thing that's not complicated is engaging full throttle for a quarter mile at a time. That trip took 15.5 seconds in the Range Rover with a speed of 88 miles per hour after a 7.2 second leap to 60. There's mucho usable torque all across the dial, and it never seems to fizzle out thanks to the rapid fire shifts from the 8 speed. There's not much clatter here either, more of a jet like whoosh as you take off briskly. The suspension feels very soft, so we expected a lot of body roll, but as soon as you turn the wheel, it magically firms up and scoots through with plenty of grip. It's not a sports car, but a very predictable and easy handling ute. Average stopping distance from 60 was a great 114 feet. The pedal felt very soft and nose dive was slow and easy. But down the line, the calipers were certainly clamping down with authority. Now to cost. 
the TD6 Range Rover will run you $87,945 or $2,000 more than a gas V6. And yes, that's a lot of money, but it's also about 15 grand less than a V8 Range Rover. The Range Rover Sport TD6 is a little easier at $67,945. Much like the Land Rover brand itself, you either get it or you won't, and any diesel will have limited American appeal. Still, now that Diesel Power has joined the 2016 Range Rover lineup here, we've joined a party that got started across the pond over a generation ago. So if you're looking to motor in true British style, you're going to need to burn diesel, not petrol. It would certainly be our tea and crumpets.